In League of Legends, Olaf is a champion whose abilities benefit from both health and attack damage. On today's episode of Wallmath, we'll be taking a look at whether health or attack damage will allow him to deal more damage for the amount of gold we'll be spending. Let's take a look at Olaf's abilities. Olaf's passive ability, Berserker Rage, will increase his attack speed by 1% for every 1% of health Olaf is missing. One should note that the more health one builds on Olaf, the more health one will need to lose to gain large benefits from this ability. Undertow has an 8 second cooldown and costs mana equal to 50 plus the ability's current level times 5. It will deal bonus damage equal to Olaf's bonus attack damage. Damage. Vicious Strikes has a 12 second cooldown and costs mana equal to 35 plus the ability's current level times 5. When cast, it will increase Olaf's attack damage by the ability's current level times 7 plus Olaf's health times 0.01 for 6 seconds. We will not be taking Reckless Swing or Ragnarok into account as they do not scale with either health or attack damage. Now let's take a look at how cost effective health and attack damage can be on Olaf. One point of health costs 2.64 gold at the cheapest level and will grant 0.01 attack damage while Vicious Strikes is active. One point of attack damage costs 40 gold at the cheapest level, which would normally take 260 64 gold worth of health to achieve only while Vicious Strikes was active. From this alone, we can tell that it is more effective to build attack damage over health on Olaf if one is only worried about dealing damage. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Lolmath episode. You can also like Lolmath on Facebook at facebook.com slash trampolinetales, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of Lolmath.